Hey guys, it's Sasha with Rice and Raw. And in honor of my one year anniversary of my boyfriend Joe, coming up pretty soon, I want to talk about something that is really important to me and something that he has taught me and something that a lot of girls don't know or don't really understand and it holds them back big time. So this is a terrible lie that's perpetuated in social media like Tumblr and MyFitnessPal and in the minds of a lot of young girls and that is thinking that guys are not going to be interested in you if you're not thin. Like guys will only like you when you're thin. And that's just a terrible, terrible thought and a way to live. That's not true at all. So, and actually this is a complete opposite uh, from what I've experienced. I've known my boyfriend for just about three years now. When I first met him three years ago, I was much fitter and thinner than I am now. But I was kind of a hollow person and my entire personality was based off of how I looked, what my weight was. And I really didn't build much more into my personality other than that. So uh, when I saw him, I was totally smitten, crazy about him. I had to be with him. <laughs> so when he and I started hanging out, you know, he was interested in me. He definitely was attracted to me. And he and I saw each other for two months. And things ended pretty quickly because he didn't really have that feeling about me. You know, and I understand that because all I was was just, you know, just there to, you know, be with him. There's nothing else to me other than getting drunk and hanging out, really. <laughs> and so that's just she goes to show, even if you're very thin and fit weight, like honestly, my body was at its best at this time. Not that much interest, you know, of course, sexual interest, I understand. But there was no other interest. He didn't really want to be with me in the long term. And I didn't understand that until a year later when I gained some weight about, you know, 20 to 30 pounds heavier than I am now. And he and I started hanging out again. And he probably liked me a lot more around this time because he stuck around for like half a year. He saw me much more often and he definitely made efforts to come and see me. You know, he didn't, he didn't just see me just because it was convenient. He would drive out of his way to come over and hang out. And still at this time, I was still trying so hard to be what I thought he wanted. You know, I would wear pink because I knew he liked girls who wore pink. And I don't like wearing pink very much. I don't like pink. <laughs> so I would do this only just to try to get him to like me more. And I would just mold myself just to be perfection. You know, I just was trying so hard. And, you know, things ended again. <laughs> and then a month later, he was like, oh, you do want to like get coffee or hang out? And I was like, no, that's not happening. I've done this before. I've done it a second time. No more. And then a month later, after I really worked on myself, you know, I got into recovery. You know, I was working on my recovery really hard and I started my Tumblr blog. So I was really exploring who I was as a person. And I was like, you know, if you want to get drinks sometime, you know, that'd be totally fine. And we got drinks and ever since then we've been hanging out almost every day. <laughs> I don't think we've gone like more than four days without seeing each other. And it was just so much fun and I was just completely open to being me and I wasn't trying to be what he wanted in a girl or at least what I thought he wanted in a girl and that just took off so much of a burden from me and you know I was classified as overweight at this time so he's seen me at classified almost underweight and he's seen me classified as overweight and guess what he likes me more when I was overweight because I was more of a genuine person because I knew I had to pull something more out of my personality than just relying on my looks. So what I did at this time is, you know, I wasn't perfectly happy with myself. You know, I was still struggling with self-love and still struggling with my weight, but I magnified parts of my personality that I loved and I just sh showed them to everyone. I was like, yes, I'm weird. You know, I like graveyards and my dorm overlooked a graveyard, which was so cool for me. And he thought it was, you know, totally bizarre that I like graveyards, but he thought it was kind of cool that, you know, I wasn't afraid to hide that. You know, I was just showing him everything that I was 
And I figured, you know what, if he doesn't like it, I'm to the point where, you know, if you don't like it, then just, there's the door. You know, I don't really mind. I don't need him. You know, I want him, but I don't need him. And this was, you know, a huge turning point in how he saw me. And, you know, he stuck around. <laughs> and there was only one moment where he wasn't quite sure. But then after, you know, like, a week or so, he was like, I want to be with you, seriously, like, I'm coming over for Christmas, and, you know, we're spending New Year's together, and, you know, then would you like to be my girlfriend kind of thing. So, what changed that for him from, you know, when he first met me to when he started falling in love with me, and he told me, he's like, I started falling in love with you, you know, when you were at your heaviest, Sasha. You know, that's when I really saw who you were because you weren't trying to, you know, put on a front. You were just being completely yourself. So that's so important for girls to understand that you don't need to be sick, thin model for guys to be interested in you. And in fact, when I was at my heaviest weight, you know, when I was overweight, I got more genuine, great guys interested in me than I had my, you know, ever before. And it's really just how you carry yourself. You know, it is the kiss of death when, you know, it doesn't matter what like what you're at, if you hate your body and you hate yourself and you feel like you're not worth it, guess what? You're not going to be worth it to other people if you don't believe that, you know? So guys are not going to be so interested in you. Even if you know, you're 200 pounds or even if you're 100 pounds, if you're like, oh my God, I'm so gross. Like, oh, look at my body, like trying to cover up all the time and embarrassed. Guys are not going to be very interested in you. I don't care how pretty you are. And you know, initially, they might, you know, just want to fuck you, but they're not going to really want to stick around with some crazy person who hates themselves. No one wants to hang out with someone who hates themselves, right? You know, I'm sorry if that's a little too much tough love, but, you know, that's the truth. And, you know, yeah, when I was at a heavier weight, I got, you know, less guy attention, if you want to look at it that way. But those guys were just, you know, frat guys, drunk frat guys, or just drunk guys at the bar who were just more interested in my pretty good friend. You know, like... <laughs> But does that really matter? Because that guy is not really going to stick around for long, is he? Probably not. You gotta let go of your ego a bit, especially when you're out partying, you know, with, with, when drinking's involved. Because guys are just trying to get laid, you know, usually, especially if you are at college. So they're just going to hit on the prettiest girl in the room and then kind of whittle their way down. <laughs> so if they're not hitting on you, who cares? That doesn't matter. You don't need that little ego boost. And that's something I just kind of had to let go of because I, you know, when I was much thinner, I would get a lot of attention at parties. And then, you know, when I go to parties when I was chubbier, I didn't get as much attention. But then again, I also wasn't dancing on the tables when I was chubbier. I also was, you know, wearing spandex and like trying to cover myself up as much as possible. I also wasn't smiling as much when I was out of parties. You know, if I wore low cut shirts and even if I was totally curvy and you know was like woohoo crazy fun I'm sure I would have gotten hit on just as much as when I was thin honestly it's the way you carry yourself you know that reflects how people are interested in you and you know in what ways they're interested in you you don't need to be thin to land the guy of your dreams because I'm with the most amazing man ever and he is damn fine he is so sexy and, you know, to this day, I'm still like, how did I even get such a great guy? But um, something also to look at is that my mom, when she was younger, she was pretty curvy too. And, you know, throughout her life, she was pretty curvy, actually. But she let this affect her so much. She didn't believe that any guy could possibly like her because she was so curvy. And, you know, she's, you know she had a bit of weight on her, but she was still beautiful, actually. And these guys they did actually like her they were interested in her but she was always like oh no he could never like me oh she has a british accent so <laughs> but she was always thought that no guy could possibly like her and it wasn't really until my dad when he was like no amanda i love you and i'm gonna make you dinner on the rooftop and you're gonna <laughs> come to the like country club with me and i'm gonna take care of you and she didn't really realize you know how guys can still be attracted to a woman, you know, even if they're curvy. And, you know, actually, honestly, guys would rather a curvy girl over, you know, a stick-thin girl, to be completely honest. So if your goal is to be stick-thin, 
you know, maybe reevaluate the logic behind that because guys would much rather someone who's slightly overweight than slightly underweight. Uh, at least the guys that I've talked to. And sorry if I'm like skinny shaming, and you know, for the people who actually find it hard to gain weight. But you know, that's a great goal. And you know, start you know lifting heavy weights and start you know eating much more. And you know, you're gonna get there. So I hope you know people are starting to see that you don't need to be rail thin for guys to be interested in you because it really is about how you carry yourself you know the respect you have for yourself and that just translates into your actions and just your demeanor and aura so please consider that um, instead of trying to just lose weight and then you'll be happy or lose weight and then you'll be attracted and lose weight and then you'll get the guy why don't you get the guy while having a healthy lifestyle and love yourself while eating healthy and abundantly be happy and then start eating healthy you can be happy right now you don't need to achieve something to then be happy because then you will never be happy because you'll always be trying to achieve something else and you know honestly if you're not happy and you're trying to achieve a goal it's much harder to achieve that goal than if you were so happy and doing it joyously oh, <laughs> oh and and for our one year anniversary for Joe and I I don't really want to do gifts or anything I get I get all that I need from him just you know living with him and just being with him he makes me so happy uh, but what we are gonna do is go to an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet and eat all of the vegetable sushi and try to eat more than the other person <laughs> okay so I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later